The Battle of Petsimo, was fought between Finnish and Soviet troops in the area of Petsimo in the far north of Finland in 1939 and 1940. The Finnish troops were greatly outnumbered but managed to contain the Soviet troops, due to the extreme terrain and weather. Chapter 1 – Order of Battle Chapter 1 – Section 1 – Finland The Finnish troops consisted of the 10th separate company in Park Kina, and the 5th separate battery in Leonar Mari. The separate companies and batteries didn't belong to any specific division of the Finnish army, and could be placed in ad hoc formations. The troops were part of the Lapland group of the Finnish army which had its headquarters at Rovaniemi. The troops were later reinforced with the 11th separate company and a third company which wasn't part of the original mobilization plans. Also the small reconnaissance group 11 was added to the troops. All the troops were called Detachment Pennanen after their commander Captain Antti Pennanen. Chapter 1 Section 2 – Soviet Union The Soviet Union had the 14th Army in the Kola Peninsula. The army consisted of three divisions, the 104th, 52nd and the 14th, operational power totaling CA. 52,500 men. Only the 104th and 52nd divisions took part in the field operations in Petsimo, 14th occupying Leonarmari Harbor. The Soviets had an overwhelming superiority in troops in the area, but most Soviet troops were preparing to fight against a possible British-French landing near Murmansk and were not involved in the fight against Finland. Chapter 2 – The Battle Elements of the 104th Division crossed the border on 30 November 1939 and occupied the Finnish part of the Ribachi Peninsula. The 242nd Infantry Regiment of the 104th Division reached Parkina on 1 December. The Finnish troops withdrew to Luostari. The 52nd Division was moved to Petsimo by boat. The 52nd took over the attack from the 104th and pushed back Detachment Pennanen all the way to Hoihenjavi until the attack was halted on 18 December. During the following two months the Soviet forces stood still. During this time the Finnish troops made several reconnaissance and guerrilla raids behind enemy lines. After the two-month pause the Soviet advance continued and this time attacks on 25 February forced the Finnish troops to Nautsi near Lake Inori. Here the troops stayed until the end of the war. Chapter 3 – The Peace In the Moscow Peace Treaty, Finland was forced to cede parts of her territory to the Soviet Union. Among these areas was the Finnish part of the Rybaki Peninsula in the extreme north of Petsimo. The Soviet Union would take the whole Petsimo area after the Continuation War.